Good evening, everyone. Welcome. We have uh, received beautiful, clear, inspiring instructions. And now we have the opportunity to immerse ourselves even more deeply into these practices. Our festival is to enjoy everything as pure. And the special methods we've received are the recitation and meditation of Vajrasattva, which is guaranteed to completely purify all of our negative karma, which is complemented by our practice of developing and maintaining bodhicitta in our daily life. The union of these two guarantees that we can become a pure being experiencing a pure world. What we'll do in this session is we'll emphasize a meditation on deepening our conviction in the law of karma. So this is the foundation of all of our purification practices. Genla very kindly read out from Introduction to Buddhism the ten non-virtuous actions and their effects and so we can spend time reflecting on that and any other understanding of karma we have so that we understand our life from the point of view of karma. You know, this meditation, this contemplation, we can do many different ways. We make our meditation very personal. We can think about things that happened, even if they happened a long time ago. We can think about things that are happening now. We can think about difficulties that are physical suffering, sicknesses, mental suffering, states of mind, addictions, anxieties, whatever that might be arising. Issues in our relationships, in our families, with our partners, at work, with colleagues. We can think in terms of our spiritual life, challenges, maybe many doubts arising, or difficulty to understand certain topics or to concentrate. We can observe those experiences and we can understand this, this is my karma ripening. This is my karma ripening. We can understand what's happening there. So, the effect of that reflection, first of all, is that our mind is going to become calm. We will stop being in conflict with our life, thinking it shouldn't be like this, this is unfair, this is wrong. Our understanding of karma will allow us to realize, no, this is, this is karma, this is my karma ripening. Any anger will disappear from our mind, this isn't anyone's fault, there isn't anyone to blame. And a sense of empowerment will arise. Rather than feeling a helpless victim, if we understand this is my karma ripening, well then I can change my karma. 